your boy joe back at it again man codingface.com make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video all right so today we are answering another question from quora it basically says why is learning javascript so hard i think for people who who have uh, uh troubles with javascript i think the biggest problem that they're having is understanding the basic concepts of just programming in general right a lot of times people who are starting to build websites right so I'm gonna answer in two ways basically people who are, are actually starting their their careers as web developers or just people who just want to create a website right they come in and they're like okay cool I understand HTML cool I understand CSS I know that I could style the page make a little design make a little change of colors whatever right now when they come into JavaScript there's like a wall because they don't understand the basic concepts of programming so if you've never taken a computer science course if you've never had anybody explain to you what a variable is nobody explain to you what a loop is nobody explain to you what a switch statement is or if and else statement is right and how those those things work what is a method right which is pretty much a function right so those little things if you don't understand those concepts and you have no knowledge and then you're like trying to jump into javascript it can be very difficult it can get difficult because you're like man how do i actually get to you know start working with javascript right now that's my first point my second point is you know the dom right there's people who come in and they start messing around with JavaScript and they think, hey, I know Java, I know C Sharp. And it's like you're dealing with just the programming language or just the syntax or dealing with object oriented programming, which is fine. But when it comes to certain things like the DOM, you know, and when I say the DOM is, you know, people don't even know how to get element by id or <laughs> a query selector or little things like that that you would think in your head is pretty simple but for some people they they don't understand that concept right because all they know is just programming meaning hey i know variables i know loops i know if and else statements right so that's what they understand so when they bring in those knowledge those skills from other languages they try to implement it into uh, JavaScript and then they're like, okay, I, I understand one part of it, but I don't understand this other part, which is the DOM. How is it that, how can I, you know, target things on the page and by classes and by IDs and, you know, what is a parent, you know, is like a, a parent div of another div and little things like that can get you confused. If you don't understand those concepts, then that's why JavaScript can become hard. But if you understand the DOM, if you understand, that's why I always tell people the best way to learn JavaScript is to understand it from the beginning, meaning understanding HTML, then jump into CSS, and then jumping into JavaScript, right? Because if you're going in backwards and you say, hey, I'm just a developer, and I'm, I'm just going to jump from, you know, from JavaScript, and then I'm going to start learning HTML and CSS. Sometimes it's not going to work. Sometimes that's why you see so many back-end developers, what we call back-end developers or software engineers or whatever we want to call them or programmers or code monkeys, whatever you want to call them, right? You know, it's like people have different uh, terminologies for this. But people who just code or they, they do more, you know, scientific uh, calculations you know if you're a guy coming from Python and you're like man I'm trying to jump into JavaScript sometimes it can be hard because you didn't go through the the phases of of a web developer of just going from HTML understanding how the DOM works how elements work how putting things inside of a, a different HTML tag 
works and then from there jump into css how css actually styles the page and then from there understand the the you know the dom tree like all of this is the dom right so understanding how things work inside of it is crucial so that's why some people have a lot of issues with javascript and that's my personal opinion that's just a little piece a lot of people gave uh, a lot of good explanations here you can also check them out but that's my opinion all right guys you already know it's your boy joe back at it again make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video man your boy is back i done did it again bow GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses. They're pretty cheap. They're like $15 each on specials. And just listen, man. Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bow.